Hey everyone, my son and I are going backpacking this weekend with his scouts, so I thought it would be kind of cool to make a video to show you what I would take on a typical backpacking weekend with me. Uh, I consider myself an avid backpacker, that is to say that I've done enough to know what I do and don't like, but by no means am I an expert. Uh, this weekend is going to be relatively warm, it's going to be, I don't know, mid to low 80s during the day and middle 50s to lower 60s at night, so most of what you're going to see is what I would take for a warm uh, weekend. There definitely would be some additional gear that I would put in here if I need a little bit more warmth. So uh, let's get started. So first, I've got my backpack here. Uh, this is an Alps Mountaineering backpack. Uh, it's actually overkill for what I need this weekend, but it's one of my favorite backpacks. Um, I did take it with me uh, to Philmont this summer. I uh, did 105 miles with it. It worked really nice. I like the roll top design uh, because it can go from as small as say probably like a 60 liter all the way up to an 80 to 85 liter. So you can really adjust based on what you're actually gonna take with you for the weekend. Um, of course, it's got the front and, and everything else that you would expect. So let's start with uh, clothing first. Uh, so I love these Sea to Summit uh, dry stuff sacks, uh, waterproof stuff sacks, waterproof stuff sacks. Uh, really big fan of them. Um, so. Most of the clothing I have in here is uh, what I'm going to actually end up sleeping in or extra clothing. So I've got the pants, the actual bottoms of my zip-offs here, uh, just in case I end up needing those this weekend. Um, I've got a pair of sleeping clothes to actually sleep in. I actually like to sleep in a fresh set of clothes um, or a dedicated set. Uh, just it's a little bit of a comfort thing for me. So, uh, and an extra pair of socks. Uh, always bring an extra pair of socks. Uh, and I'm a darn tough fanatic. Uh, these are darn toughs. Uh, I'll be wearing some darn toughs. I wore a single pair of these for 105 miles uh, this past summer. Um, I had a second pair that I would switch into when we got to camp, but 105 miles, single pair, no hot spots, no blisters. I absolutely love darn tough. So that's what my clothing's looking like. Let's go ahead and get that all packed back up. And I'll probably go repack this stuff once I'm done the video anyway, just so I can kind of adjust stuff. But I'm gonna throw up my backpack as we kind of go over it. Um, so next I'll kind of talk about uh, my warmth layers. Um, so obviously I like the layer. Um, and so since it's gonna be a little bit warmer this weekend, uh, I'm only bringing a fleece with me. I have a Patagonia fleece here. Big, big fan of Patagonia stuff. Uh, I've got their fleece, I've got their puffy. Um, you'll, when I talk about my rain gear later, I use the rain gear. Um, their stuff is just quality and lasts. I've had this uh, fleece now for probably five or six years. It has gone on every single backpacking trip with me um, and it's still just as good as new. Um, so big fan of that. And then uh, always bring a beanie. Once again, Patagonia, you'll notice a the theme. Um, this is the same material that they use for their better sweaters. Um, so really, really like that beanie, really comfortable. Shove all this back in here. Once again, a Sea to Summit um, waterproof stuff sack here. Uh, I like to use stuff sacks and things to kind of keep all my stuff organized in my bag. Um, the other thing too is being waterproof, uh, not that we're expecting any rain this weekend, but if my backpack were to get wet, um, it does have a cover on the bottom. Um, in fact, maybe I'll, I'll show you that real quick just since I didn't talk about that. Um, there is a cover on the bottom here built in uh, that you can actually take out, throw on, um, seems to be unzipped right now for some reason, um, but there's a cover. Um, when I used this this summer at Philmont, uh, we got a couple days of some pretty good rain. Um, the cover is decent, but it does fill with water, um, but none of my stuff was ever wet. Uh, I did have a, a liner in the bag itself. Um, I had an Osprey waterproof liner plus this. Seemed to work extremely well. Not expecting rain this weekend, so won't go with the liner. We'll just go with the actual sacks themselves. Uh, all right, next let's talk about, uh, well, let's finish it off with rain gear. Um, so always burn rain gear, even when I'm not expecting rain, um, always something to have. Worst case, it's supposed to be a little windy this weekend. I can always put it on as an extra layer to kind of knock down the wind. Me personally, I like to shove my, uh, my rain gear right in the front here. That way it's always super accessible. Um, really, really easy, uh, nice and easy to get to anytime actually. Let's talk about sleep. Um, so I am going to be hammocking this weekend. Um, so I'm a big hammocker. Uh, my son loves hammocking. We're, we're big fans of that. 
Um, my favorite hammock is the Kamek Mantis all-in-one. Uh, if you are a hammock camper, I highly recommend this. Uh, this is the regular one. They also sell an ultralight one, uh, but the weight difference really is not that big a deal. This thing is way less than any tent you're probably going to take anyway. Um, and everything is in here. It's got my straps, it's got my rain fly, it's got the uh, hammock itself, it's got a bug net, um, and of course it's got the stakes here uh, for staking stuff out. So I love this thing. Um, I do tent occasionally as well. Um, I've got a couple different tents. Maybe I'll do a, a video in the future about some of the tenting and, and why I do that. My setup is a little bit different um, when, I, when I tent. So uh, I am bringing a synthetic top quilt. Um, so this, uh, I'm not going to take it out because it's a pain in the butt to get back in here, um, but it is an Enlightened Systems um, Apex, I believe is what it is. It's their synthetic top quilt. Really, really love this thing. Um, it's rated down to 30 degrees, and unlike a lot of sleeping bags, I have had this thing in 30 degree weather in my tent uh, with the pad straps, and I was perfectly warm. Uh, so this thing really, really will get you down into the cold temperatures. Um, I'm going with a 30, even though it's not supposed to be super cold this weekend because uh, with the hammock, it's supposed to be windy, going to get a lot of wind underneath of me. I can always wrap this underneath me to give me just a little bit more warmth um, when it comes to that. In a nice waterproof stuff sack by Granite Gear, um, that way I can keep it nice and small. Once again, don't want your stuff to get wet, uh, even though we're not supposed to expect rain this weekend. Okay, and then finally part of my sleeping gear. I'm a pillow guy. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to face it. Uh, my, my son, if he were here right now, would probably be shaking his head at me because uh, he's like, pillows are useless, and I'm a pillow guy. Um, this one is a simple REI uh, Camp Dreamer pillow. This is my favorite hammocking pillow uh, because it's not super big, um, and it really works well just to kind of have a little something up there um, as I'm actually uh, hammocking. I've got a slightly different pillow that I use when I tent. Um, it's more of an inflatable one, um, so it get a little bit more height on it, but I really, really love this uh, particular pillow. So I think that's about it for my actual sleeping gear. Um, some of the other miscellaneous things that I'm gonna have in my pack. Um, I am team chair, uh, so uh, this is one of the creature comforts that I would bring with me, even if I were trying to reduce my weight. Um, this is something I took to film out this summer when really you're trying to get the lowest pack weight you possibly can. Um, I still took a chair. Now, uh, I used to have a big Agnes, um, but it kind of uh, bro broke. Uh, there's a kind of a little angle on it that breaks. So uh, I just picked up this Helinox Chair Zero. Looking forward to trying it out this weekend. It actually weighs less than the big Agnes um, and it's a little bit smaller form factor. So kind of excited. Definitely looking to try that out. First aid kit. Super important. I never go anywhere without a first aid kit. Uh, I'm a big dark angel, dark angel medical um, type of person. So uh, that's the base kit I've got in here. I'm not going to go through the entire kit, um, but I've basically got a full trauma kit in here. Um, you know, with uh, anything. So if someone were to get a serious wound, we can pack that wound. We can take care of it. Tons of band aids. Um, you know, your basics: burn gel, sting gel, all that kind of good stuff. A um, little bit of medicine, a little bit of chapstick. Um, Probably weighs more than you would typically do on some backpacking trips, but I'm a medical guy. That's something I'm not going to leave home without, uh, is, is to make sure I have my medical gear. Yeah, <laughs> get to the toilet gear, right? So we are going backpacking. We'll be out in the woods. Um, if I do have to dig a cat hole, I like to have everything in a single pack. That way I can just grab this and go. Um, it's all isolated. Um, in here we have the Deuce number two ultralight trowel. Um, really kind of a neat trowel. Uh, I've used this a couple times before. Uh, it weighs, what does it say, 0.6 ounces. Weighs almost nothing. Works really, really well. Um, just some biodegradable toilet paper in there and a hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, super important. Uh, this is kind of my junk bag. This is my catch-all for where I don't have a place to put any all the other stuff. Um, so in here, I've got a uh, battery pack. Um, so that uh, you know, I can charge my phone or whatever. I, I tend to try and, uh, I leave my phone in airplane mode, try and really disconnect, uh, but I'm typically shooting video, taking photos, doing all that kind of good stuff. Talk about my GoPro here in a minute. So that does actually end up running the battery down. Paracord, never know when you might need a good set of paracord. Um, charging cables, um, part of my mess kit there, I'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, I've got one lighter in here and I've got another lighter in my cup there. I'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, I always like to carry two just in case I lose one. Uh, one doesn't you know, work, whatever the case may be. Headlamp. Um, I've got a black diamond headlamp here. Uh, headlamp, 
This is one of the things I would never go camping without. Uh, this is one of the things we tell scouts. It's one of the first things you should end up buying. Headlamp. Really important. So that's kind of my miscellaneous junk bag here. So we'll get that thrown back in here and I'll just set that off to the side. So um, let's move on to mess kit. Um, so what do I have for mess kit? So I've got a pretty simple mess kit here. Um, I've got one of these uh, plate bowl things. Um, I really like these because they fold down uh, super flat um, and then you can pinch them together and snap them uh, and they actually become a bowl. So you got yourself a nice little bowl. Um, I've used these quite a bit. Um, really, really like using them. Uh, the other thing I like here um, is this little titanium spork. Um, you know, just something simple, something easy. I can get in there, get the food, um, and folds down fairly small and throws into my junk bag pretty easy. Uh, jet boil. I love jet boils. Um, so I take this with me all the time. Uh, this particular weekend, um, we're going to do some what they call patrol style cooking. So it's going to be some group cooking this weekend. So I'll really only be using this to make myself coffee, uh, to boil water for coffee. Um, but if I were bringing my own food, I would definitely be using this to make dinner. Uh, maybe make lunch, depends on what I actually want to do. Lots of cool things you can do with this. Uh, fits all nicely. Mug, I'm a coffee drinker. I gotta have my coffee in the morning. Uh, so I do bring a mug. Um, it's a simple plastic, um, also has um, the measurements over here. So if you did have to measure something, it's kind of nice. Got my little coffee in the bottom here. Uh, just this weekend, we're just doing, I'm just doing uh, instant coffee. Um, I do have some really cool coffees uh, that I've taken before. I've done some pour overs. Um, I've got some kind of like tea bag types. Uh, always kind of enjoy that. Uh, another lighter, um, my jet boil, unfortunately, the ignition system is long past uh, since stopped working. Uh, so I do have to actually use a lighter to ignite my uh, jet boil. So definitely want to make sure that I have that. All right, we've talked about those. Uh, buff. Um, I always take one, sometimes two of these. Um, this weekend, I'll probably just take one of these. This can be used for literally anything. Wiping sweat off, uh, wiping my hands, picking up a hot pad. Um, we will be filtering water this weekend, so if we get into a really gunky place, I can always throw it over top of my water bottle uh, to try and not have so many floaters in my actual water bottle. So um, this one is one we picked up actually at Philmont. It's a very synthetic one. Uh, it's got a map of Philmont. Really cool. Um, I actually really like this a lot. So. Uh, speaking of water filtration, um, so we will be filtering water this weekend. Um, so I will be carrying two Nalgene's. Uh, I'm a big Nalgene fan. Um, if I want to reduce weight, I could go with a smart water bottle. In fact, I use smart water bottles at, at Philmont. The one thing that was kind of a pain in the butt is sometimes they can be hard to fill. Um, you know, especially if the stream is low. We haven't had a lot of rain here in Kansas, so I'm expecting the streams to be low. Uh, the other thing too is um, I'm actually gonna bring my MSR water filtration system. Um, I could also use uh, uh, Polar Pure or some tabs or iodine tablets, something like that. Those work perfectly fine. Um, but what I like about this is uh, screws right on top of the Nalgene, throw that in, pump away, filter everything out. Um, it weighs a little bit more than you would probably typically take on an extended backpacking trip. Um, but for a weekend trip, it's nice, it's easy, it works extremely well, so. Hat. Um, I am a Tilly fan through and through. Uh, this hat has gone with me on so many adventures. Um, it is amazing. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Tilly, they're lifetime guarantee. If I lose this thing, break this thing, bust this thing, anything, they will replace it. Um, uh, and, it and it has gone hundreds and hundreds of miles with me on the water, on the trail, everything else. Uh, some people complain about the wide brim, you know, not gonna get your backpack. I've never had that kind of problem. Book, I always like to bring a book with me. I'm reading some Jack Reacher right now. Um, like I said before, I like to disconnect when I'm out in the woods. So typically my phone's gonna be in airplane mode. I'm gonna only try and use my phone for photos and video, nothing else like that. So if I get some quiet time, I like to sneak into a corner, do a little bit of reading. Uh, compass, you always gotta have a compass. Um, so I've got a uh, Suntu or Sunto, however you pronounce that, um, just a standard compass. I really like this thing. Um, you can set it on the back for uh, magnetic north versus, real, versus true north. Um, we'll be on a trail this weekend, so probably unlikely I'll even use it, uh, but I always bring it. Um, I've got a little 
tripod mount for my phone. This lets me set it down, hang it to a tree. This is, you know, you can bend these all around so I can get those cool shots. Um, and then I'm excited to try out my new clip for my GoPro this weekend. So I just got this, uh, it clips right on your backpack. Um, so we'll actually hopefully be able to get some shots of us as we're kind of hiking and things. So looking forward to that. Finally, uh, so that's all the stuff that's going to basically be in my bag um, while I'm actually going uh, this weekend. Uh, let's talk about what I'm actually going to wear. Um, so probably going to wear this exact shirt, just a nice long sleeve, sent that, uh, you know, moisture wicking, nice easy shirt. Uh, cool Pants, uh, K-U-H-L. Uh, I love this company. I love their pants. Um, they are water resistant. They dry super fast. They're durable as all heck. Uh, they are the convertible ones, so I will end up bringing the legs for them in case I need them. Um, uh, darn tough socks, of course. Um, and on my feet, I'm going to be wearing a pair of Loa Renegades. These are uh, Gore-Tex waterproof, um, you know, trail runner versus hiking, uh, hiking boot. We could go on forever about the uh, uh, pros and cons of each approach. However, <laughs> unfortunately, last time I took my trail runners out, I got some glass at the bottom of them, so I'm currently without trail runners. Otherwise, I might take them this weekend. But I do love these Loas. Um, these have gone well over two, 200 miles um, on the trails, uh, and they have survived tons of stuff. I have been in water up to my ankles with them. Uh, my feet stayed 100% perfectly dry. Uh, so really, really a big fan of these. They're nice and worn in now, um, and they work really, really well. As far as actually in my pockets go, um, Leatherman multi-tool. Uh, this is, I carry this everywhere all day, but also carry it with me uh, backpacking as well. You know, got a nice pair of pliers. You never know when you might need to repair something. Um, got the screwdriver and then also got the, you know, knife for when we need it. I do have their outdoor one, which is a little bit heavier, has a few more things on it, um, but it got a little bit rusted this, uh, this summer. And so I haven't had a chance to clean it and, and actually knock most of the rust off. And then I think finally, other than that, my space pen. Never know when you might need to write something. Uh, so this is everything that I'm going to have in my pack for this weekend, uh, for a fairly warm weekend. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we'll probably do a little bit of a follow-up here 